welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley and today I'm going to show you how you can take different glitters or rocks and turn them into whatever color you want. So if that's something that interests you, stay tuned. Hey everyone, so obviously I don't sound like myself. Um, I am sick again. I have... <laughs> My niece and nephew here and I'm watching them for an entire year because their dad is deployed to Korea so um, I am working on getting over sickness but I am at least feeling well <laughs> um, but I decided to go ahead and jump into this video instead of continually waiting until I get better because that seems to never happen um, and I want to show you what different color glitters but also a different texture glitter so this one's fine I have a big old X marked on it because it's a mixed glitter um, it's not the actual label glitter and so I just needed the container and then I have some that these when I add into resin they turn out to be um, very transparent so I want to show you how I'm going to do these and same thing with these they take on very very well when it comes to colors um, because it's sort of like it's mirrored glass and it's called decorative filler and I get that from the wedding aisle at Michael's a lot of people have asked me about this because I originally had only found smaller bags but you can get clear um, there's clear with like a silver tint and clear with like a yellow tint at Michael's and um, honestly, I think that that's the best way because you can dye them to be whatever colors you want. And so that's what I ended up doing for a while. And I'm so sorry this video took me so long. But I also got some brand new alcohol inks. And you guys, I'm so freaking excited um, because these are the new colors that Pinata just released. And the epoxy resin store was amazing and sent them to me um, in order just to try them out. They just wanted me to try them out and see what I thought and to let them know, let you all know that um, they're willing to give you guys a discount if you shop through them. And they have a lot of stuff. So I already talked about their um, resin in my last video, just super briefly. Their liquid diamonds resin is absolutely amazing. And so um, I'm going to do a full video on that later, but I wanted to go ahead and test out these new colors. I don't have color on top of this because I haven't even used these yet. I'm so excited, especially since my colors have really changed lately. Um, and if you follow my Instagram, you'll see why I just put a new post up there and showed, you know, I really wanted to help inspire y'all to find your true colors. Find the colors that you are going to love working with forever. And I realized after doing that coffee table that that's what these are for me. And so that's what I'm doing. I wanted to go ahead and work with those. And I'm going to take some pictures and all that good stuff. But the other thing I want you to keep in mind. Um, when you're trying to dye glitter, all right, you really are going to have the best color with something that is almost transparent um, or silver. The gold or the green or blues, whatever other colors you want to use. Um, when I worked with the Just For You Online UK ones that were um, fully biodegradable, the issue is they would turn different colors depending, like if you were to dye this color, the green, the teal, and this color, the teal, it's going to be so different. So that's actually what I'm going to show you first because I want you to see how that turns out um, so that way you know that if you're going to make your own glitter colors you might want to get something that is easy for you to manage when it comes to the colors now i'm just going to do a little bit of each of these and i'll save them maybe i'll do a really fun project with them or something um and get some of that green oh no that went the wrong way cool and i'm going to show you how they turn out so all you need to do is you're taking alcohol ink. Now you can utilize the Brio Face, the Ranger inks, the Pinata, any of those. Um, the only issue is the Pinata are a lot better with color. 
and the other ones are a little bit more transparent. So the pinatas are a lot more opaque. So I find them to have a fuller color and you just want to work with a popsicle stick. If you have gloves on your hands, like I do, you can also jump in there with your fingers and just squish it around and start to color your glitter. Now, if you notice, um, some of that rainbow aspect that was on that clear glitter is also coming through with the dyeing of the glitter. Okay, look how pretty that is though. It really reminds me of like a mermaid color. All right, now that's gonna be fantastic when I do the purple as well. Now, what you are gonna see on this one is it's not, it's gonna be a lot darker because this green already is darker than that silver and it gives you a fully different color. So you just work with it until you're happy with the color. When I did my turtle piece and I turned all my glitters into a different color, I had to do some heavy, heavy coloring. And I want you to know that that's okay. You just want to make sure you sort of spread it out after you've colored it. And that way you can um, let it dry, just air dry, and then you can put it in. Now, here's a big old warning. Because this is alcohol ink, if you utilize alcohol ink to dye your glitters and then you end up putting it on a project and utilizing alcohol, it's going to mess with the colors and it's gonna go all over the place. So make sure you're putting it, if you're putting it in a geode, for example, you wanna make sure that you do that and you leave it alone. You don't end up spraying alcohol on top to get more cells or anything like that. Now, you can see that this is a bit darker just from putting the teal on it. So if you only have this green and you wanna darken it a little bit, you can do something like that. Now, another option is you can mix colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of purple on both of these. This is actually the blue violet. And you're gonna see how that's gonna completely change the coloring. Oh, that's pretty. I don't wanna squish that in there too much because I like the mix of the purple and the teal. Look at that. I just imagine, like, what would you use this particular glitter for? What does this remind you of? What does it inspire you? Um, and that's kind of what had happened, that it was a total accident, and I was so excited when I did that turtle piece because of that. So let me lay this out for you, because this is just, mm, it's beautiful, look at that. So pretty. I think this is very mermaidy. I would call this my mermaid glitter. Okay. And then once you put that purple, did I already put that purple in there? Yeah, I did. There you go. You can see that it's turning that a little bit darker. So you want, that's why I say to work with the clear colors because I had a very difficult time turning um, one color into something else without heavy, heavy coloring. So now you can see I have a much, much deeper green when I started out with a very, very bright lime green. Okay, it's still really pretty, but it's not as bright. Okay. So again, I like to work with the clear colors and that's why I pulled out a lot of my clear textures to show you how those work. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one again. We're gonna grab some of these little guys, put some purple on there. And the alcohol ink is just so great at staining. And so that's kind of my goal here is I'm just staining these jewels to be different colors. Now these, um, it's really interesting how I was searching everywhere to find great jewels to put in geodes and you would look for the perfect color when really it's right in our art room. You just have to do the alcohol ink. So. All I did was add some purple onto those, and now you just want to lay them out, let them air dry, and then those are dyed. They're perfect. You just don't wanna put any alcohol on top of your art piece. Again, I just feel like I have to put that as a warning because I did end up doing that, and it was not, not what I expected, and I was not happy. So another thing you can do is add some texture in there with the glitter and then add some color. Now I have, oh my gosh, look at that teal. Ah, that's gonna be so pretty to use in a picture or something, I don't know yet. So um, I have a little bit of purple on this finger and so that mixing in with there, it's just gonna alter the color just a little. Ah, <laughs> I'm so clumsy. 
And then mixing that glitter around with it too is gonna help get some of that glitter caught on some of those rocks. And it's another way that you can just add some really cool texture to your um, geodes. Ooh, see, and that one had some purple and teal on the glitter. So this is how that turned out. And this reminds me of um, like a sapphire and an emerald had babies. <laughs> sapphire and emerald had babies. Ooh, and this would probably be really pretty to like accent with this one. <gasps> oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I need to make another geode. Or I could just add these on top of like these guys. Oh, that'd be fantastic. Okay, so... I did those. Um, let me do the fine glitter. The fine glitter actually was probably the easiest. It's just gonna clump together a little bit more. Okay, there's that. And it's a gold and silver sort of mix. So I'm actually gonna do my dark, dark purple here. Add that in there. Mm. See how it kind of just sinks in there? little purple poops. <laughs> so you just have to keep pushing it down. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm pushing it down against the bottom to help get it on every single one. It's kind of like you're, you're cooking uh, baking and stuff like that, like you're baking something and you're just trying to get it on all the gold. And what I thought I was so worried about when I first did it was that I would lose some shine. And obviously when you're going from gold to purple, you're going to lose a little bit of shine. But I actually think this looks so much more natural and this is so, so freaking cool. So this is probably one of my favorite tricks that I am showing you. So y'all better be sharing the crap out of this. Please help me out y'all. Share it, share it, share it because this is cool. And um, if you guys utilize this in any of your own videos, please give me some cred. I appreciate it. All right. Um, so look how pretty that is. I love it. That looks, oh my gosh, that actually looks like one of the geode um, necklaces that I just did. That actually, that's really cool. It's interesting. And let me see, what do I wanna do? Oh yeah, so this is with the blue violet and the teal. I'm gonna show you what um, this particular glitter looks like with the purple. So I'm actually gonna bring out a new color here. Um, so that way, it is not going to be impacted by the uh, blue or the teal or the blue violet. Blue violet. Okay, so do a little bit of that and then do my passion purple. I'm just going to show you how much darker that ends up being. It's so pretty though. Look at that. Oh my gosh. It actually gives it a little bit more of a reddish purple tint, whereas this is obviously a more bluish purple. Um, so it really just depends on what you're going for and what you're trying to match. Let me put this right next to it. Okay. I hope you guys can see the difference here, um, in my reddish purple versus bluish purple that I was telling you about that I just mentioned. Make sure to put it a little closer. So I can see the obvious difference here. I'll try to take a closer picture once I'm done recording so that way you can kind of see. But really, that's how easy it is. You just need to take some pieces. Oh, yeah, these are the ones that kind of flung all over the place. Um, you just need to take some rocks, glitter, whatever you have, and alcohol ink will dye them perfectly. I found that to be amazing. Whenever you can get discounts or sales on glitter, go ahead and do that. Um, so that way you can just make your own colors that are going to work perfect for the project that you are doing anyways. And... Honestly, this is going to be so easy to just sprinkle a little bit of like this into here and then pour my resin on top. So that way I have those accenting any of my molds. Like there's really so, there's an infinite number of things that you can do with um, dyeing your own glitters. So if this didn't make sense to anyone, please don't hesitate to ask any questions below. But let me know, what was your favorite glitter? What are you gonna do? What projects are you gonna do after you now know how to dye some glitter and rocks and um, different jewels and stuff like that? Let me know, I love to be inspired by you. And so I'm excited to be able to share this and I hope you guys have a really fantastic week. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. 
and I'll catch you guys in the next video where I'm going to do a review on that diamond epoxy that I've been talking so highly of and then put them out pretty closely together because I know I've been excited about both of the, these videos and I want you to not have to wait a few weeks again. Um, that will be my goal for you while I have my niece and nephew for the year is to not make you guys wait every three weeks. I'm so sorry, but I do upload videos as often as I can on TikTok and Instagram as well. So make sure you guys are following me there and I'll catch you next time.